Hello students, welcome to Shorosa's classes. This video is solution of econometrics, this is a part 4 of our videos. So the first question is on degrees of freedom. So what is this degrees of freedom concept is, remember that total number of variables, sorry, total number of variables minus total number of equations. That is degrees of freedom. That's it. We take the modulus value of this. So in this equational structure, so there is 100 different observations. So 100 observations and it's a bivariate one. So, so here 100 different observations minus it's a bivariate uh, they have given. So directly we will subtract 2 and the value is 98 so c is the answer in this case next question is on the estimator given the assumption of the clrm so they are given a clrm the least square estimator possesses some optimum properties given that gauss mark of theorem this i have solved in my other video please take a look into that so which of the statement is not a part of the theorem so which of them is not a part of the theorem we can also uh, calculate here so the estimator beta 2 is the linear function yes it's a linear function actually so here this one is correct y equal to beta 1 beta 2 x i at plus ui so the average value of the estimate beta equal to zero no that is wrong because this is not given this may be positive or negative and the estimate below so anyway we don't need to check but i'm checking the estimate beta 2 is an unbiased no this one is is correct if it is biased then there will be problem so option number b is the answer in this case next one is question 19 coefficient of determination so what is this coefficient of determination and what they measure so the coefficient of determination measures actually no correlation between x and y is directly measured by correlation coefficients so this is wrong so the residual sum of squares as a proportion of the total sum of squares so rss by tss is a part of the f uh, format or the f test so this is also wrong and the explained sum of squares ESS by TSS, no, this is also a part of this. So the last part and how well the sample regression fits the data, yes, the goodness of fit. The word is called the goodness of fit. That is being measured by the coefficient of determination. Next question. This is question number 20. The coefficient of correlation, yes, this one is a very direct question. You also must be knowing that it lies between minus 1, 2, plus 1. So, going to the next one. The coefficient of determination, the coefficient of determination R squared for a regression model. So, this is also a very well known part. So, this coefficient of determination lies R squared plus 1. So, which actually measures the goodness of fit. So, the fit might be zero, so not at all fitted at all, and one means the best fit. Next one, I will be going to question number 22. So when the estimated slope coefficient, so estimated slope coefficient in the simple regression model beta 1 hat is a zero. So in that case, R square, that is a correlation coefficient, is also zero. So the slope coefficient plus y equal to alpha plus sorry, beta one plus beta two hat uh, x i plus u i, the epsilon i. Also, sometimes it's written. So here we can say that there is correlation coefficient zero. So there is no structurally relation between the beta one and y i. Next uh, question is zero correlation does not necessarily imply independence between two variables okay this is a statement they have given 
and this statement is obviously true because zero correlation may occur due to the sum of u y equal to zero, sum of x i equal to zero, sum of x y may be equal to zero. So due to that, uh, sum of x or sum of y, sum of x y in these all the cases, if any of them is zero, so that can give you the zero correlation. It doesn't mean the independence. So this statement is uh, truth. Next one we have here. The R square measures the percentage of the total variation. So it measures total variation in X explained in Y. No, Y explained uh, by beta is not at all because uh, Y can be explained by the beta one term. So Y explained by UI. No, Y and UI term is zero. So this is the right answer. Y explained by the regression model itself. Now going for the last question for this part. Uh, that when y i hat that is the estimated value is equal to the original value for each i in a regression model then the value of r square will be obviously equal to 1 so the maximum value so this is only possible if it is perfectly so under perfect correlation only this thing is valid okay so for the more videos check out for our channel we will be coming soon with the next set of series